Good morning. Uh, today I'd like to share something with you that I've been working with uh, for the last uh, year, year and a half. I get asked all the time about cleaning records. So the way I, I do it, which I'm going to share with you, is I have a sink. So I'm going to fill that full of lukewarm water. Drop a little bit of fairy liquid in there. Not a lot, just a little bit. And we're up and running. I've just purchased uh, quite a large collection that has sat in somebody's attic. Now the worst thing you can do with records, and you can see, if you just have a look at this, this was two quid probably, uh, I don't know, 30 years ago, something like that. This, this collection has been stored in a place which I wouldn't recommend anybody to store their records. The important thing about records is that they're in a constant temperature, they have ventilation, and in a temperature that changes all the while and it's not ventilated, it is a breeding ground for little tiny spores to get into the vinyl. And as you can see there, there's like a mist in. And uh, that's obviously when it went in that pack, it was mint. It's no, not mint anymore. Uh, but what we're, we're going to do is clean it with a method that I use. Um, let me show you what my secret ingredient is. I used a lot of things over the years. Um, you know, baby wipes, uh, alcohol wipes or whatever. These are wonder wipes, and I tell you what, they're damn good. They come in a nice container, which also doubles up as a good uh, bait box for fishing when you've finished with it. They, they come out in strips like that, and I put that back down and then pull it. So what I've got now is a damp, a damp uh, cleaning cloth, which I'm going to apply to it. Now look, that I only apply it to the vinyl. Don't go anywhere near, and you can hear you can hear the dirt, can't you? Can you hear that dirt? And you can see the dirt's coming off. As you can see, I'm not touching the label at all. I'm just doing the vinyl surface. Now, what you can't do. When I've used that, I put that back into a, a little plastic sleeve so that it doesn't dry out. And what you can't do with any record at all is leave any chemicals on the surface. So I've now got one of these, which is uh, I'm going to rinse out. That is just water now. Again, being very, very careful not to touch the label. And going around it that's nice and wet now now I've got a towel under here make sure your towel hasn't got any dirt on it any bits of food or uh, any grit or anything make sure it's clean and again we're going to go round I like to go round the same way anti-clockwise all the time and we're going with the grooves not backwards and forwards or across the grooves and what we've got there I think if Paul would like to just get up close on it, got a nice clean. Are you getting a good shot of that? That's nice and clean now. And what we're doing, we're not wet the label at all because if you do, you can damage it. And certainly, if you leave the cleaning solution on the label, that will damage it. And if you leave the cleaning solution, on here you can get these wonder wipes from any builders merchant they're fantastic they, they clean anything and everything um, but the real important thing is you don't leave any residue on the vinyl uh, you wash the vinyl off with, with, with clean what's that I've already already gonna put a fingerprint on it which I don't like
And there we go, that's what I call a nice clean record now. And that would, I think, pass for Mint Miners. Very good. Still in its 30 year old packet. Nevertheless, stomping Philadelphia Northern Soul. Two quid. That was a long, long time ago. Now these have been stored, like I say, we'll just do one more. These have been stored in the same place. This is a, uh, an expensive record these days. To be honest, that is in a much better condition than the other one. Let's just find one that uh, Yeah, that could do with a wipe. So I'm going to take my wipe out, out of the plastic bag. As you can see, there's a little bit of a film on it. Not a bad one. And we're just going to go round anti-clockwise. Do not go across the grooves. And as you can see, there's a nice film on there. I'll just get a wet one to wipe it clean. Now I'm going to use my trusty fluffy towel and again going anti-clockwise always try and wash the towel at least once every two days if you've been doing this because it will it will build up with a little bit of grit and you certainly don't want that in the grooves there we go we can see there's some hairline uh, some hairline what's it but uh, that's nice and clean and that's how I've been cleaning records for the last year or so and I find wonder wipes are, are perfect and, and they're pretty cheap and uh, you can you can use them uh, again and again uh, as the wet ones here if you wet them they do dry out fairly quickly because I think they're alcohol based but that's what I've been doing. I thought I'd share that with you because it's so easy and these are not expensive. Okay, thank you.